I call to order the Lynchburg Planning Commission meeting for Wednesday, February 10th, 2016. Uh, first order of business is the approval of the January 13th, 2016 minutes. Are there any additions or corrections to these minutes? We have a, do we have a motion to approve? I will make that motion, please. A second? And uh, for uh, our new member, it's, it's customary if you were absent at a meeting, you just abstain. Um, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Unopposed? All right, and one, one abstaining. Well, two abstaining. It's two it's abstaining. Two abstaining. Sorry, I forgot you weren't here. Thank you. Um, the next order of business is the following public item hearing. Um, petition of CMB Properties, LLC, to rezone approximately 767 thousandths of an acre at 3316 Naval Reserve Road from I-3 Heavy Industrial District to B-5 General Business District to allow a standalone office use. And someone from um, City Planning wants to review the proposal. Sure, members of Planning Commission, this is a relatively small lot that's currently recommended for employment two uses on the city's future land use map. Employment two uses are mainly, um, you know, they're mainly intended to serve large manufacturing uh, type uses, but also service type uses, restaurants and hotels that would support those employment areas would be also be appropriate. The property is currently zoned uh, I-3 heavy industrial. It's been, it's been zoned that way since at least 1978. The property currently contains a non-conforming accounting office. Uh, really what has um, made this request necessary is that the owner uh, would like to construct a small, I believe it's about an 800 square foot uh, building addition on the rear of the property, but since it is uh, not zoned appropriately, they would not be able to do so without this rezoning. Uh, the, the planning division typically does not um, typically support down zoning heavy industrial property, but since the uh, future land use map does recommend employment too and recognize, recognizes the need for service type uses, which an accounting office would be a service uh, used to uh, manufacturing firms and other uh, businesses in an industrial area, uh, we do recommend approval of the, the rezone. All right, thank you. Um, who is here to speak on behalf of this petition? You come up, state your name, sign in, and we are happy to hear from you. Hope I didn't bring y'all there today. Hope you got something else on the agenda. We like light agendas. That's never a problem. <laughs> Don't apologize for that. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the Planning Commission, my name is Thomas Brooks. I'm with uh, Acres of Virginia Incorporated. Our firm is located at 404 Clay Street here in the city of Lynchburg. I'm here today representing uh, CMB Properties LLC on behalf of a request to rezone uh, this piece of property from the Industrial 3 to B5. To give you a little background on this property, uh, it used to be the Lynchburg Gas Company property years and years ago. This goes back to Campbell County. The property is <coughs> located at 3316 Naval Reserve Road, right off of Stadium Road, right behind the stadium itself. We have surveyed the boundaries of the property, located all the existing infrastructure, and uh, come up with this uh, site plan showing where all, these, uh, inf all the infrastructure is located. What the clients have there is a business, a CPA business. They do taxes. And they've been there for several years, have been in business for quite some time. And the use has worked for them real well over that period of time they've been there. But now they're finding themselves to need 
a conference room and a couple of offices for their uh, CEO and president and another bathroom in the facility. So what they asked me to do was to uh, come up with a site plan showing where we could put a 800 square foot addition. And the 800 square foot addition is going to be attached to the uh, southern end of this building. As you can see, that's the area on the very back of it. It will be accessed through the main building itself and we'll have an exit point right there on the side on a uh, set of steps going down to the uh, parking. That's just uh, access itself for uh, an exit itself just for to meet fire code. The property is uh, bounded on the southern end by the Norfolk uh, Western Railroad. From the top of that right of way down to the railroad is probably about a 50, 60 foot drop. And on the um, western side, it's bordered by uh, uh, the Lynchburg Gas Company and Watts Oil Company, and they basically uh, use the property for parking vehicles and storage and things like that. And on the eastern end of the property is uh, Robinson Construction Company over there. As you go on up Naval Reserve Road, if you see on that uh, vicinity map, it goes back out to some businesses that uh, are there on the corner, such as Glass uh, Construction Company. Uh, the purpose of the site plan is to show the existing infrastructure and the location of the proposed one-story 800 square foot office addition. And like I said, the current use of the building is uh, general business. Uh, it's uh, actually Shelton and Company owned CPAs, PCP, PC, and the total land disturbance for the new addition is going to be under um, uh, 990 square feet. I have a elevation of the, the addition that's going on this property. And if you're looking at the plant, <coughs> If you're looking at it from Naval Reserve side, this is the existing building. And this will be the addition that will be going on the end of it. This is the exi existing building, the dashed area. That will be the addition that will be going on the end of it. This is looking at it from the parking lot side. As you pull up, you can, you got a set of steps going in to that exit of a, entrance I was talking about. And this is the elevation that you would be looking at from the from the railroad side if you was uh, facing the property. <coughs> uh, my clients are asking for uh, this use uh, so they can continue uh, to increase their uh, space for the personnel on site. They do have ample parking there. As you can see, we have the parking areas uh, delineated. The parking lot is a paved parking lot. That existing concrete slab was something evidently of a building that was there years ago when Lynchburg Gas Company had it. We are going to be required to put in a uh, reduced pressure assembly uh, to meet standards for water quality and a backflow preventer uh, to the building. That's something anytime you make any change uh, on anything in the city, if you don't have an RPZ, you've got to put an RPZ in. Uh, we'll be required to do some uh, additional landscaping along the road, street trees, and uh, some small landscaping around the foundation of the building itself. Uh, I think we've got everything pretty much covered on that uh, regarding what uh, my clients would like to do. And we're just asking uh, for permission uh, and hopefully that the Planning Commission will look at this favorably today and uh, grant my uh, clients the right to add this uh, addition to the building. It's going to uh, look the same. It's going to have uh, the same type of siding on it that's there. The roof that's on the existing building now is a shingle roof. And the roof that's going on this building is a metal roof and the, new, the old buildings will have a new metal roof put on that as well. So it will spice up the area just a little bit and uh, make the building look a lot better. Not that it looks bad now. It's just uh, 
they need a little bit uh, of maintenance on it and the roof has to be replaced. So they're going ahead and replace the roof while they uh, build this new addition. If you have any questions, uh, when you're ready for me, I'll be glad to answer them. Okay. okay. I think you can just stay there for a second if you All don't right. mind. Um, is there anyone here to speak in favor or against? All right. Um, at this point, the public hearing is closed. Um, commissioners, are there any questions for either city staff or the petitioner? Uh, Mr. Brooks. is that it looks like if we change this then there's just going to be this gap tooth in the map right everything's going to be gray around it and it's going to be one little which color will it be red spot um, well I think in terms of looking at a map yes um, but when you when you look at what the future land use map does recommend and the way the zoning ordinances are written, it, it almost requires that type of um, gap tooth, as, as you called it, zoning. Um, you know, it's really no different than when the uh, old Naval Reserve Center was rezoned uh, back in the early 2000s to, uh, that was originally a, rezone for um, uh, no it was rezoned for a group called urban alternatives um, and, and then uh, glass and associates went in there and they, they primarily have their office uses there so mm -hmm. I think the important thing to look at is whether or not um, this is a type of use that could support the industrial area um, all the, also, it is a very small parcel, and it's, uh, it's, it's really hemmed in between Naval Reserve Road and, and, and the railroad, and as Mr. Brooks stated, it's a very steep drop-off um, to the railroad. I don't have any problem with it. I do have a question about the building itself, Mr. Moore. There, um, I know there's steps going up both entrances or exits there. Are they required to meet any ADA standards for wheelchair access to the building, or would that fall under? That would fall under the building code. Under um, the building code. That's not something I could answer right now, but definitely something I could get back with you on. I, I just noticing that. You know, Entrances and exits yep. for the I'll building. Um, can you speak? Uh, if you want to direct the question to yeah. him, yes. Sure. They do have uh, ADA uh, handicap ramp there on the building. They do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my biggest concern. Yeah, so anytime we'll that you uh, do any major renovations <laughs> to any building, if it's not handicapped, you've got to meet that handicap accessibility. Where, where is that located? Is it presently on the building? It's on the present building, yes. Okay. Yeah. You know, my building, we don't have it because it was built in 1820. <laughs> so we just carry the wheelchair in for the person. <laughs> I've only had one person to complain since I've been there for the last 25 years. <laughs> okay. I just didn't recall seeing it when I drove by. And... But I do understand it's very necessary. Okay. That was my biggest concern was people can get in and yeah. out, especially in emergency. So, so is the current structure n not in compliance with I-3? The use is not. Um, the way I-3 works is that if it's an office use, it would have to be in conjunction with, a, with an industrial use. Right. Um, so right now, the CPA firm is, is non-conforming because it's not related to manufacturing. Right. So this does two things. It allows the addition and fixes the it also brings situation. the building and the the use into conformity yeah. yes and it would be easy if banker were to want to expand and buy that property it's easy just to re reverse that, would uh, that they would have to file for rezoning just the they would reason, go for rezoning yes any other uh, questions
All right, well, is there a, uh, a motion regarding this petition? <laughs> um, I look for too. Uh, anyway, I move that we allow the rezoning of this from I three to B five, um, thirty three sixteen Naval Reserve Road. Is there a second? I will second. All right, any other uh, comments or thoughts anyone wants to share? Uh, you know, to me, I know the concerns about the downgrading. Um, but it does fix an existing non-compliant situation, which I think is important. And if you if you look at this area in the city, um, I think this kind of a um, petition actually is going to improve what we see there and, and make it look, they mentioned the landscaping, but also the structure itself. It's going to help beautify that region. And it, I think it's certainly in, in the spirit of the comprehensive plan and the future land use map, even though it might be a little blip. In the, in the map itself, so I, I, I'm, I'm in support of this. All right, well, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. All right, appreciate it. We recommend so approval. My, my opinion, everything from Stadium Road back to that should turn red anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> because basically it's all just business there. Well, good luck with, your, yeah. good luck with your project. I'm sorry. I said good luck with the project. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. It's hard to bring you out. All right. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> any other general business items? Jim, I think uh, you have something. Yeah, as, as, our, as, uh, as we all know, and of course our new members are welcome to join us, uh, we uh, have a rotation in the uh, officers in the chair and the vice chair uh, and Jerry moved up to, um, uh, Dave moved up to take Jerry Swinton's position, and those of us who worked with Jerry uh, had a tremendous amount of respect for him, and I've prepared a motion uh, that I'll move in a second, and uh, we can have some discussion on to recognize Jerry Swinton's service. Uh, and I'd, I'd like to, to uh, read my motion. Uh, <clears throat> whereas uh, Gerard E. Swinton, served on the Lynchburg Planning Commission from August of 2006 until December of 2015, including service as vice chair of the commission in 2013 and chair in 2014 and 15, and whereas Jerry Swinton was always well prepared for the meetings, asked penetrating and insightful questions, made well, re made well reasoned decisions, and treated the public with the utmost courtesy and professionalism, Therefore, be it resolved that the Lynchburg Planning Commission hereby thanks Jerry Swinton for his dedicated service and congratulates him on a job extremely well done. This motion shall be spread on the records of the Lynchburg Planning Commission. A copy of the resolution shall be given to Jerry Swinton and a copy of this resolution forwarded to City Council. Um, and that would be my, my motion, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that. Right. Any, uh, any uh, thoughts or input to that. I just want to add, um, I, I, I think it's important to realize this is not necessarily something we need to do every time someone steps down. It's not expected, but in this case, Jerry did really serve beyond his time, and he helped guide us through the zoning ordinance rewrite, which was a, a major undertaking. So I think in this case, there is certainly cause for this type of, of recognition. So uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, well, um, I do want to again officially welcome our newest member, Tom. Thank you for serving with us, and uh, we look forward to working with you over the next few years. For a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's leaving. No one's leaving. <laughs> Any other items? All right, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.